Monday morning guys and it is the first day of class which is insane. I'm here like 45 minutes early because I always get paranoid about like not getting there on time, finding where the classroom is. Like I'm pretty sure at like probably 7.15 like I'm gonna go in and like explore because I don't know anytime I'm at a new campus I always just like explore when which means I just like go in and like see the grounds you know like look at where the class is like look at the numbers and frankly I'm only going to like one classroom so it shouldn't be that hard but I need to find out where that classroom is and then I need to find where the bathroom is because that's really important too yeah I think I'm pretty confident about navigating like different buildings opposite than driving on roads I'm pretty good at navigating classrooms because I've been on multiple different campuses so starting off I've been to UCF I've been to Valencia Osceola campus I've been to Valencia East campus and I've also been to Valencia West campus I mean schools they're all kind of laid out the same in a way like not really but finding where you need to go isn't too bad I will say obviously UCF was the hardest to navigate my first day there I got lost I had to like call my mom it was like so embarrassing but overall like once you get your bearings of like where things are it gets pretty easy so yeah I just wanted to come on and chit chat with you guys before the day starts and I have plenty of time to do that I was debating on putting on a little makeup which as you can see like I chose to do that I don't know I'm like okay for the first day it'll be cool I'm not going to do this every day like it's just too much I mean maybe face makeup and like eyebrows that's just basically what I did so maybe I will but honestly like I'm not gonna make it like a priority cuz you know but for the first day if we get like IDs or something like I don't know it's kind of nice to have makeup on the coffee is great that light just turned off um the coffee is really good I really enjoy it but I wish I could like fill it up higher but I don't have enough in that like container so now I know why they got sold out at the other store they're not that big but they look huge I don't know but really good I am not disappointed also too I brought this little notebook thingy I put on like my paperwork in there like class schedule and stuff and then I just brought like my everyday purse I don't know what to expect or like what I will need so that's why I didn't like bring a lot I have paper in there and stuff but I wonder if it's gonna be like a welcome to school first day stuff and then like okay let's start on chapter one like I don't know I don't know what to expect and I think that's what I'm like most nervous about like I don't know what to expect so I'm thinking it's gonna be like half first day shenanigans you know like this is what you're gonna learn and blah 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 and then it's gonna be like okay we're jumping in because like you know I don't know I know at UCF the first day was like review the syllabus and then okay here's chapter one like it was not like let's mess around no it was like you jump in also too I'm gonna vlog the rest like whatever footage I get on my phone hopefully I get some stuff I don't know so don't be mad at me if I don't get a lot of footage um, but I kind of want to like get little peeks you know in the classroom like labs and stuff but if there's like a lot of people obviously I can't so yeah um, I think that's it for the rambles for now I'm excited I'm nervous we'll see I mean we're here so let's go Okay, so I just got my ID, which is cool. I'm at lunch now. We have lunch like kind of early, but that's because we get out at like 2.30 or something. So it's kind of like weird. I never eat this early, but obviously I'm gonna eat cause yeah. So have half an hour, gonna eat real quick and then I'm gonna go back to class. So we're doing like going through like the handbook of like what to expect, everything like that. And then I guess we're gonna just start. So overall, good and it's gonna be pretty intense but one of like the former student well he's like going through the program already he's like once you get in the swing of things like it'll be better and stuff so yeah I'm gonna eat now <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm back home now and I got a package. I don't really know what this is. I kind of forgot, but I'm gonna check it out and see. Oh, it's my toilet paper holder. Ooh, I'm excited. So basically, I just got this black one. So you can put the toilet paper on it like this. This goes in like this. So you can put the toilet paper on this uh, rod by just straightening this out and then putting it on and then you can make it a right angle so you can have your toilet paper here, which is so good, so convenient. And I'm happy with this because I hated, because I hated putting my toilet paper on the floor. So this is what this is, but I got my first assignment, which is creating like a little PowerPoint to share what a, what a specific surgical instrument is. So this is the instrument and I believe this is part of the retractor category. So there's like different categories. I forgot if he said there was nine or seven, but I asked a teacher like what I thought it was. So it could be called a ribbon, I believe, or a malleable retractor. So I'm gonna look it up right now. This is what a malleable retractor looks like. And basically you can bend it and shape it to what you want or what the surgeon wants. So this is what it looks like and it's in the retractor category. And now I just need to find a procedure, a realistic procedure, obviously. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that, which I can do pretty easily. And then I just create a PowerPoint. So that's my first assignment. Um, the rest of the day was just kind of like um, going into the lab and seeing that. We got to see like dead rodents that we're gonna be like dissecting eventually. And then the class before us got to um, show us basically what they're learning and it was like two months ago where they started just like us So we're gonna be doing what they're doing in just a couple months. So overall, that's what happened at school today the program's gonna be pretty intense and we're gonna have to learn like probably 200 plus instruments and like what they're called I mean literally this is just one of them. I did learn because I heard there's one called an Alice, which is kind of like a, it looks like a clamp, but I'm not sure. So don't take my word for that. So I heard them like say the word Alice. And then I also learned that there's a two more, a couple more categories. So there's a, I think it's a traumatic. Yes, it's a traumatic. Okay. There's traumatic and a traumatic categories. So I learned that today. I just learned a lot and I know I'm gonna learn a ton more, but I think that's it for this little clip. School went well and yeah, I'm just like, let's go. Let's, let's get this show on the road because I know that it's gonna be pretty challenging. I shared this on Instagram, but I wanted to share it here. If you guys get a Stanley Cup and you guys know, I don't know if I talked about it on the vlog, but I hate how the straw like sometimes ends up here and you have to like, drink all the way like you have to extend your neck and it's just kind of annoying if you start the rotation like with the straw away from you kind of like at a 45 degree angle and rotate it and then tighten it it is on your side of the cup and it's close to the handle so if you drink with the left hand it's really easy to take a sip um i learned that because i was like trying to figure out like a good way to move the lid and stuff. Got my comfy little set on. This is from Fabletics. I love it. It's so comfortable. Um, I had a snack um, after I got home. I had a little like snack bag popcorn thing and then some veggie straws. Uh, I just wanted to finish off the veggie straws, honestly. But yeah, I have to take my lunch so early that like I get kind of hungry when I get home. But then again, Valerie's making dinner. So it's just kind of like awkward food times. I'll get used to it, but I don't know, it's just kind of weird, so anyway. And for dinner for the first night of school, Valerie cooked some spaghetti, so I just have some bread. Uh, these are some green beans, and then as you can see, my little pasta is wrapped up here in this little bowl, so yeah. And then we have a special dessert that I'm gonna vlog later. I'm so excited. Okay, and for the special uh, celebration, we have a Coke float. I love Coke floats, as you guys know. And mothers are cooking their uh, Sundays, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Here's Valerie's. Oh yeah, yeah. And Sherry and her nuts. Yep. Valerie and her cherries. Valerie and her cherries. And 
And Alex and her Diet Coke. How is it? 